What are Tasmanian tigers? Roughly 4 million years ago, the Tasmanian tigers began to walk the earth. Then, on September 7th, 1936, the last captive specimen, nicknamed Benjamin, died. While they were not technically declared extinct until 1986, at the time a species could not be declared extinct until there had been no live specimens for 50 years, it is formally accepted that they were wiped out in 1936. Despite this, sightings still occur, and it seems that a sizable population still lives on in the wild. From the moment they were allegedly ended to this very day, towards these creatures had come from Oceania. The Tasmanian tiger, or thylacine, are natives to the Australian mainland and New Guinea. Despite their name, they are not felines. They are carnivorous marsupials due to their pouch. They can be identified by their dog-like head and the distinctive lower back stripes that earn them the tiger moniker. The Tasmanian tiger population was low even before England colonized land down under. The fact that they were viewed as a dangerous predator, and their unique pelts were sought after luxuries, led to hunting, destroying populations even further. Conservation efforts began in as early as 1901, and 59 days before Benjamin died, they were declared a protected species by the government. Despite this, the Tasmanian tigers still live on. The first sighting occurred just two years later, in 1938, when one was allegedly shot in Mabana. Searches for the thylacine are viewed as more credible than those for other cryptids, such as Bigfoot, and have had some considerable success. In the 1960s, Dr. Eric Geiler and David Fleay found footprints and other physical evidence along with hearing the animal's vocalizations. While there's no paddy film equivalent for these creatures, there have been numerous sightings with photographic evidence since then, the most recent being by a farmer in Victoria, Australia in 2018. If it is still alive, the Tasmanian tiger will be what is known as a Lazarus species, which is a species that is thought to have died out but still lives on, similar to the coelacanth. If they are gone, it may not be for long. The tigers are on something of a short list for genetic cloning.